Mm. Oh, day three here in Halolem Beach in Goa. We are going to be leaving. We're going to do one more night and then we're going to head up north. So beautiful area, just a little bit quiet, not much social going on. So if you're looking for partying and socialising and talking to other travellers, it's not really the place for it, is it? It's a lot of oldies, a lot of old Russian, old English, and it's just much more chilled out. Which, if you're into that stuff, a lot of families. But something we've really been enjoying is getting up early, coming down to this tea shop, just getting a chai. Good morning, right. We're on the move again. We're heading up towards North Goa. We've done about four nights here in Palo Lem Beach. And um, we're heading up to North Goa because we've got another mate that's flying in in the next couple of days. Casino, floating casino. Wow. How's it going? You're fam? How are you? Hey. Did you shake? Yeah. Wait, you see where I'm from? Yeah, I think so. You see where I'm from? Yeah, I'm from England, England. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Take care. Have a good one. Take care, bro. Right, we are in Goa, North Goa, now we're in Baga Beach. We've moved here. It's all right. Yeah, I'm gonna go because I'm not sure if this music's copyrighted or not. I'll be back in a little while. So, me and Dave are walking in Goa. And look what I just come across. Any of my motorbike travel subscribers, look at this, Vespa has been everywhere. Look at that. Crazy, crazy. I just, I've only done a few small trips on my bike and... I didn't count it exactly. It oh, it says 95. Is it there to the left? 97. So the last country, Last country we went to was Bangladesh. Country 97, 190,000 kilometers. The Middle East. 200,000 kilometers. Got a little, his little cherry tank. Got a cushion for his seat. And uh, I just can't believe it. I feel like a bit of a wimp now because riding from London to mine on my KTM killed me. This guy's been around the world on this little Vespa. Sick. Yeah, anyone that's interested in following him or his journey, you've got at Vesper is his Instagram, Facebook, VesperDA.com. And then at the bottom, all around the world, from it to the Instagram. That is, that's, that's, that's sick of it. Yeah. So I want to know how, I, I, you off. <laughs> I want to know how reliable it's been. Like, you know, like, has yet to have... Well, done 180,000 kilometers. So how many engines has he been through? That's true. Oh yeah, no, hats off. That is crazy. And also we're back now, we're back in paradise. We're back in South Goa. It's just totally different vibes to North Goa, Bagger Beach. Bagger Beach, anyone that's going Goa. My personal opinion is avoid Bagger Beach. It's a bag of shit. I'm uh, just on the beach in Goa. I just bought some honey, some raw honey. Just on the beach, this is the honey. It's uh, mango honey, you say, yeah, from the mango. forest. Mango. Apparently, mango honey. It looks a bit dark, but the actual product looks good and clear. Look at that. That come out of it. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I was, thought I'd just support them. They had a big bucket of honey, so there's only a five or four. A bottle of it. I'm going to see how it tastes. And, uh, it's definitely raw honey. Unfiltered. Few little bits in it. Even if I don't like it, it was only a five off. Yeah. So I was just in the restaurant eating, and that honey, when I got in there, I just looked inside, it had like ants, it had loads of little bits, creatures in it, and shit in it. So I just asked the guy in the restaurant if he could go filter it out for me, and he was like, Yeah. He looked at it, he was like, What's that local honey? He was like, he, was, he liked it. That's what made one. Right, so he's just brought out. He's just brought out the honey. It looks good, it's nice and clean. I, I didn't film any of it close up before. It had loads of little, little ants in it. I look how many satellite dishes on this house here. Looks like somebody's house. 
Definitely a Indian scam center, scam scam house or something like that. Do you reckon? They must just have bad signal or something like that. Just walking in the middle of Goa. Hello. 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 So here's one of the dishes, it's just a starter. Honey, honey garlic chicken. Very good. Mm. Wow. So that camera's picking it up very well. That smells so good. Just waiting just wait for the naan bread to come out now. Alright, it's another evening. Uh, and we were just in a hostel playing a quick game of pool. Dave's over there playing pool. Pee Wee, the other my pal who's turning up, he's coming now. He's just in a cabin away from Goa Airport. He's been in Mumbai all day. So he's had a long last day. He's just on his way to the hostel now. So I'll, just, I'll probably film a bit when he turns up. There the fella is. Gang, we made What's it. Up? What What's up? What's up? Big dog. <laughs> How are you, bro? Good, bro. Right, yeah. Oh, it's a mad. Wow. That is metropolitan. You think, you think Bombay's bad? Delhi, brazier. Brazier. Whoa. You man pissy. The only thing I'll say about Mumbai... Little one, two beer? That's a bit crazy. The rats. The rats. What, Delhi? Did you not see the rats? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They cover themselves up. Why? Because they're rats. Oh. Please. Please? Yeah, I think that would be insane here. Alright, so getting close towards the end of our trip in Goa. Oh, let me just get towards the end of the trip in Goa right now. Um, we're leaving for Thailand in a few days, so we're just going to finish it off the ground on a boat. Oh, not a boat party. Just a boat with a few drinks and some with some girls, so see how it goes. For this fucking sick cunt. Around here. Beautiful though, starting to get a bit of colour. Chilled out, can't wait for Thailand now though. Hello YouTube, right as you can see the sun is setting behind me, it looks beautiful. Just moving away from this music because it might be copyrighted. It's quite annoying sometimes. A lot of times I'm filming and I don't realise that the music's probably copyrighted. Well anyway. It's sad to be leaving India, it's been so amazing. Sorry, the music is definitely copyrighted but definitely Yeah, hopefully um I'm well, far enough away now from that music you can't hear it but I just realised a lot of the filming I was just doing had the camera zoomed right in instead of it being on the wide angle. So I'm just going to repeat everything that I said a minute ago. And it was just basically India has been amazing. The last week since we've been in Goa it's been a lot more chilled obviously as it is that kind of environment down here, that vibe. North India's mental, Delhi, the Golden Triangle, Agra Jaipur and then even Mumbai. Hectic. Amazing experience, highly recommend it to anyone that's thinking of traveling to India. But in as a whole, we've had hardly any problems, any bad interactions, everyone's been super friendly, so just keen to come and speak to you and ask where you're from, what part of the world you're from, why you're in India. 
um, and, and yeah, all in a good way. They're, they're not like saying, why are you in India? Or they're like, why are you, like, where, where are you from? Why are you come to India? They just love it. Especially English, right? That's the other good thing with India. It's just a huge English speaking country. A lot, most people you walk up to will speak English. So that helps, that's good. I have to start remembering a lot of Thai phrases now because yeah, next couple of vids will be Thailand. I'm not gonna film that much in Thailand because there's already a ton of content, travel content on Thailand. I'll probably film things that we do and just keep it as like a little personal vlog, which most of this stuff is just personal vlogs. Um, yeah, just gonna have one last bite to eat and then we're gonna head to the airport. We've got a nine hour total transit time from here to Phuket. Gotta to go to Mumbai first and then to, gotta to go to Mumbai first and then to Phuket. So, I will, this will be it for India now. This is the end of India, last day. It's been a bit sad today taking it all in but yeah if you've made it this far thank you for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one ciao ciao he's got the original bad boys on there so me and dave see this all around india like they cook in the sun i feel about a few places in delhi that we're doing like, we're just gonna try some now because before we leave It's okay. I was about to whip it Tiny back in the sand. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, that's, that's the show. That's the idiot. Yeah. That's just put the fence. MSG. Yeah, probably not. Look, one funny. Yeah. Done your bad. Thank you. So, yeah. Bye -bye, I thought I was going to see him cook them, but. Uh, a lot of it, I was like the sugar cane as well, wasn't it? We, like, we wanted the sugar cane juice, and um, you want to make them, you want them to make it fresh, like as you pull up. But then they just have a pot of it there, they pour it. Yeah, you throw it in the pack. Then what? Poisoning. That's <laughs> <laughs> looking alright though. That's the end product. Flavors. Yeah. Tastes all right. Just thought it was gonna, I was gonna see him cook it in the sand, but yeah. Oh, Delio. So it's a bit difficult to eat, <clears throat> eat and hold the camera at the same time, but they're actually nice. Peanuts are good, fresh peanuts. Pee wee, uh, Peter oh, right. bought a bag of peanuts earlier. That bro. Oh, oh fart gas. tastes like fart gas. Oh. These ones are actually nice. Just worried about deli belly because they're like no, off of a street food store. But they're nice, good peanuts. Right, getting that flight in about an hour. Getting a taxi in an hour, and then it's about two hour drive to the airport. So, see you in a little while.